In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the ESM apps on an Ubuntu or any of the Ubuntu derivative Linux machines. Now, the reason I'm going to show you this is over the weekend, I went sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, and I received this message that said the following security updates require Ubuntu Pro with the ESM apps enabled. And then it shows me a list of files that needs that to be enabled in order to get these updates and I like my system to stay update with as many security updates as possible because this is a security update so I thought let me go to this website and then I figured out how to do it so number one if you got in the live patch enabled then uh, it, it won't be as many steps but anyhow the way that you do this is you go to uh, system administration click on your software and updates now if you've got a different layout your software and updates may be at a different location but before you can actually get the updates you have to enable it within the software and updates dialog box so once you've clicked on this link and I'll minimize the browser so it won't have a lot of extra things in the background uh, once you get the software and updates dialog box loaded then click on the Ubuntu Pro tab as you can see here I can disable it and or you can re-enable it and if you've never enabled it before you'll have a code somewhere within the dialog box and a link that you can go to that link enter that code and it will enable the Ubuntu Pro and like I said you can disable it once it's been enabled then you can go and check which security updates and since these are security updates I uh, enabled the ESM infra, the ESM, ESM apps, and that's where the message come from, which you see here. It says the following security updates require Ubuntu Pro with the ESM apps enabled. So that's how you enable that section is with that particular tab. Now I already had the live patch enabled from a previous version of Ubuntu, the long-term support. So that was already an, uh, checked as well I think this one might have been no it wasn't because it was the ESM I had to turn on this one and this one I didn't have to turn on this one because like I said I already had the live patch enabled so once the, the, you've got all these enabled you can close this dialog box and you're ready then to go sudo apt update and then sudo app upgrade as you normally do and then after you do that it will give you that message once again but this time it will be enabled so all you have to do to get the updates go to sudo app pro enable ESM apps from here and then go to uh, sudo apt upgrade and as you can see here it will say the following package will be upgraded and that's the list of packages that had to have the ESM apps enabled and it will get the uh, files the upgrades for those particular uh, files that needed upgrading and your system will be upgraded now if you go to sudo apt update sudo apt upgrade if it says there's any packages held back then I recommend you to click on this link and on this particular link it will show you how to to get rid of the packages that are kept back. Now the extended security maintenance is just basically extra security patching for the, any of the Ubuntu long-term support. Uh, it does enable continuous uh, vulnerability management for critical, high, and medium security updates. So if you like to keep your system updated, then I recommend you to enable the ESEM apps and then run your updates and upgrades as you normally do and it will get the most uh, advanced secure packages on your Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivatives. I hope this has helped someone and have a great day.